Hey yo, what's up? You know what it is. It's the one and the only the triple the G O D live on Team GRF TV. I'd like to welcome you guys back to another installment of Triple the Gas Peace on and yo. The King of Fighters Destiny, episode fifteen, side story Angelina. Or as this episode is actually called The Origins of Captain Saber Hope, Terry Bogard edition, because in this episode, we get all those questions answered, if you had any, about how Terry met Angelina. And this is how the story goes down. Angelina is, I'm assuming, doing strange things for a piece of change. We're just going to say that's what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't want to investigate what it is. I watched the episode, but I get in the middle of that. we just going to say, for the record, doing strange things for a piece of change, right? So, she gets... In some trouble with the dude she doing strange things for a piece of change for. And then Terry just knowing that it's his destiny. He throws on his Captain save a whole cape and saves the hoe. So successfully even when Terry's like 14 he's already Captain save a whole junior. Saving these junior hoes. Just saving hoes. Just like I see you in trouble ma'am let me save you with no regard to my own life or if I'm going to get anything back but I must save you because I am Terry Bogart and are you okay I'm Captain Savo and he saves the hoe so after Terry has successfully saved his first hoe he's like Look, I want to save you even more, girl. I want to take you off the hood, girl. I want to give you everything you need because you see this cape? This makes me Captain save ho What I'm finna do is I'm finna go over to the far east side and I'm finna train with my daddy's master and he gonna give me the power to be the greatest Captain save ho of all time. Do you want to come? Okay, I'll come with you because you will save me from all the bad men because I'm a ho that needs to be saved. So, Terry, like, I'll buy you a ticket. I'll talk to the dude who's going to make me the ultimate Captain Saber Hulk. Now, remember when Terry and Angelina allegedly met for the first time, but technically, as we now know, as them reconnecting. It's this scene that explains why Terry doesn't know Angelina's name, because he sits up her, Hey, baby, what's your name since I'm saving you? My name is Angelonk. And this big old, and this big old Fallhorn, come on. Fallhorn, I'll be Fallhorn, Leghorn with an acorn. Shop Eminem. Look, so, all this happens. And then, and then all of this happens, and then Angelina makes the decision you don't think she made as a whole being saved. She herself is saving Terry because now she has become. Cause would it? Cause it's like. Cause is it like Mrs. Captain Save a Whole? Because Terry himself is a whole, or is it kind of like Great Say a Woman or something like that? So I, I really think we gonna go with. Captain Saver, we're going to go with Miss Captain Saver Ho because I'd be sitting here all day trying to think of the semantics about how is a woman saving a hoe and Terry's technically a hoe because he just watched his daddy get killed by one of the greatest villains in all the video games that we can go on. And all with this is that, speaking of that, before I get to the rest of this Angelina story, right? I wonder, are we going to learn anything about where Andy went? Because we know where Andy went. Andy went to go see Hanzo sure and knew, you know, until he meets up with Mai and he'll die at some point and Andy will, you know, inherit everything that is to be a ninja that your name is not either Gav or the Hanzo or Tori or even, you know, that guy from the King of Fighters 14 who we're not going to name drop because in this canon you don't technically exist. And for the record, your name is, we don't know, you just ninja guy. That's what we call you. Banderias. Or whatever you pronounce his name, but look, regardless of that, the dudes who Terry put on his cape to save the whole front or back. And Angelina chases them away so Terry can get on the boat and train to be the ultimate Captain Sabre. Ultimately, doing strange things for a piece of change catches up with Angelina and those dudes like literally curb stomp her. We ain't talking about like a Seth Rollins curb stomp on Black History Month. You know what I'm saying? On Martin Luther King's birthday, nothing like that. No, no, they literally beat this girl to the white meat. They whoop her ass. Whoop his ass, Craig. Whoop his ass. That kind of ass whooping. You know, when Craig beat a Debo type of ass whooping. Curb stomp. It's like, I can relate. It's like, that beating, <coughs> excuse me, is related to the greatest beating ever on film. When the whole Big Boss family 
curb stomps Hideo Kojima. It is one of the greatest things someone ever made on the internet. And if you haven't watched Kojima get curb stomped, you should. You should watch Hideo Kojima get curb stomped by many versions of Solid Snake. You just should. Because watching Hideo Kojima get curb stomped, if you feeling bad, that'll lift your spirits up. You have my guarantee. Put some hot sauce on it. But yeah, they curb stomp her. She laid out like, I'm going to die because my Captain Sabo is gone. And then here come technically not Captain Save a Ho, even though he's technically saving a hoe, he's Howard. He simply looks up and he sits, she open her eyes and here he is. He like, you wanna live? <laughs> I wanna live! And Geese take her away. And fast forward 10 years to the what? What episode was that? I think that was episode, I wanna say episode 3? When Terry meets up with Angelina? Yeah, I think that is episode three that Aunt Terry meets up with Angeline when he walks in a bar and it stopped like right before but right before the bar fight. And something I just remembered about that episode, I remember hearing that in the Japanese versions of the sh- of that is that Angelina actually sang a song in that episode. It may possibly be in this episode too where she sang a song, but because of, you know, copyrights and all that it wasn't shown in the youtube version but i haven't been able to fact check that but all in all this was a great episode it was nice short and sweet and it gave you every single thing you needed to understand the relationship between captain save a and the chosen hole he wished to save for all eternity the question is, is Angelina going to die before this is over? And the answer is points to yes. I shook an eight ball. Like, yo, Angelina going to die? You damn right, my dude. She dead. And that's what it is. Throw that eight ball out. I, I Don't they have, like, a different balls? I remember seeing a magic nine ball when I was a kid. Like, in a store. Like, you know, you don't want a magic eight ball. You want a magic nine ball because it's yellow and white or something. Look. Look. This was a great episode, like I said. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been coughing all day. Is if you want to understand the relationship between Terry and Angelina, this is an episode that gives you some origins in that. But then that also walks on that 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 scene that we saw when 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 um when Jeff was still alive when they was both sitting on the porch. So I think. Terry and Angelina may have knew of each other and did all that, but didn't really get introduced and he saved to till he put on his junior cat to save a whole cape and save the whole. So it is what it is with that, right? So I think that's an episode. I'm like given what we are, we should be getting back to business as usual next episode because we should be getting right back into the thick of things at a tournament because, again, reminder, we still got four teams remaining. We got the Akari Warriors team, we got the Hero team, we got the Fatal Fury team, and we have the um, and we have the Queens team. They're going to be in the Final Four, and we talked about this last week a little bit, like, is the Sky, is the, is the Sky Noah or the Black Noah actually going to be involved in all of this? We don't know, but we will find out. I should play the King of Fighters 2002. I've been thinking about that game really lately because I'm trying to get another copy to replace my old broken copy of the Tokugeki edition. Do you know how expensive that is on eBay? Very inexpensive. Let's just say that. Um, It's Saturday, so plenty of work. No, I still got Ruby popping off. If you haven't, if you haven't heard about my thoughts about the TMNT and Injustice, and there's some other stuff that I heard about, downloaded, and will watch it and reveal what you guys a little bit later today. So plenty of work coming from the one and the only. So please stay tuned to Team GRF TV as we bring you the latest and greatest of Ruby, Captain Save a Hole, and all the fun things we bring you right here that you only can get exclusive right here on Team GRF TV. So how about that? Go on, get up out of here. You know what it is. This is the one in the alley. The triple, the G. O D live on Team GRF TV, of course. And I'd like to thank you all for joining me for another installment of Triple the Gas Speak Song. And with that being said, are you okay? <laughs>